put it on um, the amp, um, the amp simulation and the IRs on the right channel, which is good. Um, I actually like that. You can have it set to where that's not an issue where you can, you know, it's on everything if you wanted to. But you have the option in order to split that signal flow up so you can send this right channel to your actual physical amp. And then, oh, sorry, guys, getting a little out of view here. I don't know how that happened. Yeesh. So get this um, right channel going to your amp, left channel going to um, the house or wherever. So you can have them run that to a DI box and then run that out. You know, not it not having a DI or XLR out is really not that big of a deal, guys. Um, and I'll tell you why. Because most sound engineers are going to have DI boxes. Like, what kind of sound company is this that doesn't have DI boxes? Like, what are they doing? Like, <laughs> they'll have it if they're professionals. So, you know, if, whether you have it on the there or you have it on the amp you know they'll have a way you know your amp a lot of the amp heads also have an xlr so you know you can have it running both two different um amps you know you can have it a uh, signal running from your amp um xlr to the house and have a signal from the left channel on here running in aguilar or whatever amp model you would like in there running to the house so i got mine with the the aguilar um 750 amp on there with the cab simulation and so the thing the main difference this is kind of like a scaled down b6 or or b24 uh, it's kind of like a scaled down version of those so it definitely has a few less options like um you can't really swap out these cabinets at least I haven't found a way to pretty much whatever cabinet is supposed to be with that amp head is what you got to roll with. If you want the freedom to switch cabs and do all that stuff, you need a Zoom um, B24 or a Zoom, a Zoom B6 and it allow you to do all that, have all those extra capabilities. But for this, um, they didn't allow you to do that. So you this one, but that's not a bad thing. These these cab sims, uh, 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 these cab IRs are, are really good, you know, the cab sims to me are more so um they just emulating the sound of the cabinet while ir is an actual cab the way that cabinet uh, a capture of that cabinet through certain mics in a certain environment and i actually have my own set of irs coming out shout out to me yeah, let's go uh huh <laughs> coach you so you know make sure y'all hit that like button as well you know um so you know so you get more content like this and um but yeah so you get plenty of stuff on here. Get your bright, deep bright. I'm not going through every single effect, and I'm not going through all the presets, guys. Um, that's not. I don't do reviews like that. Um, I pretty much like to set up stuff and see the functionality of things. So basically, you won't have to fool with that, but you get a, a blend for the cabinet. So, you know, that does help. You can have it more on the DI side. Like, it's coming straight out the amp head. If you want to turn it off completely, you just would turn it to, you know, turn it to zero. And if you want to do this from the pedal, you can also do that. Go over, over. So basically, you just kind of start turning these little knobs here, and you can adjust things this way. You can scroll the bigger effects, like an amp model is going to have two pages. So if you want to turn that cab up, 
with the physical knob. Or turn it off. So I think one of the things they did, well, they they um they at least got the cabs to sound really, you know, really good, decently. You know, if you want to do more tone shaping with that, you of course can just use um different um uh, EQs on here or preamps, um, depending on how you want to use the unit. You know, um, like one of the tricks I like to use. You know. Just so you guys know, we also got this Blueberry driver on here. I love that. Sounds nice, too. Real nice. Nice overdrive. And of course, Zoom is kind enough to add a nice blend knob in there. You got to have a good blend knob with the distortion and the overdrives, things like that. So um, that definitely helps out a lot. Um, and then you got like this, this Z-Tron filter, which is an electroharmonics Z-Tron emulation. And that joint get funky too. So, great sound. And then, of course, the legendary 1176 limiter. And now, this is one of the best 1176 emulations, you know. And you get it right on the Zoom pedals. It, and it, it's kind of crazy. Like, it never gets talked about. A lot of people overlook Zoom just because it's not a fancy name. Um, I've never looked at them like a you know, I guess a budget company per se, but I guess that's what they kind of are when it comes to this stuff. But these are some of the best effects you'll ever run across for a bass. Like, these are some of the best multi-effects units, period. I don't want to hear, like, they, they cost-effective, they pack in a bunch of different type of effects, the essentials, and the stuff they're emulating, they're usually pretty 